Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two. This time with the lovely Dr. Liz Lister, our medical expert, uh, not in, in just all things, which she is a medical doctor, but specifically for all of us who are over 50 and kind of feeling our age, you know? That's, we, we're glad to have you here, Dr. Liz. Thank you so much, lovely to be here. Dr. Liz, I have a question for you. Um, uh, I've been seeing a lot of ads on television about uh, uh, glucose monitoring, but what really struck me was there was a, uh, I was watching a, an episode of Jeopardy uh, within the last week or so, and it was like a, a tournament of second chances. And there was a woman who came on who had one of those little, it looked like a, a round uh, uh, patch on her arm that would yeah. be used for monitoring. But she also on the back of her arm and she had her sleeves purposely bare. She had a, a, a glucose pump. And what happened was apparently on her first visit to Jeopardy, uh, she, because she wanted to uh, provide awareness for that there were things that you could do if you have diabetes. Uh, I don't know whether she had type two, or she probably had type one diabetes. So she, um, uh, wore her arms uh, revealed, and that was the discussion about the whole thing about why she was doing that. Yes. So uh, this has been at least glucose monitoring has become very uh, popular. It's, I guess the drug companies make a lot of money out of it. Uh, but uh, can you tell us more about that? And and is it really does it make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's absolutely right. It's definitely growing in popularity. And it's a wonderful tool. So we're talking first about the continuous glucose monitor. That's our main focus for our conversation. That is a patch which comes in a very easy to apply device. So spring loaded device. The patch is smaller than a quarter. It's really small now. It's getting smaller and smaller. So with the device, people usually wear it on their arm because that's sort of out of the way. So you just clean the skin with alcohol, let it dry, and then press the device on, hold it there for a second or two, and then you remove the little applicator device, and then the patch is just right there on your arm for 14 days. All right, so most of the brands that I'm aware of are for 14 days. And the patch is very informative. It has made, a, it's already making a big difference, in the management of diabetics for their blood sugar. It helps people keep their blood sugar more steady, know exactly how their body is going to respond. It's very, very interesting. Again, as I mentioned, it's usually for diabetics, but it's growing in popularity as a way of preventing developing diabetes. You can watch your blood sugar ahead of time. You can learn about your own body's responses to things that you eat. You can see how lows, you can see patterns. So it's very, very interesting and very helpful. In the person you mentioned, they also had an insulin pump. So in that case, this is a true diabetic. Again, we don't know if it was type 1 or type 2, could have been either. However, the glucose monitor can talk to the insulin pump, which in those of us who don't need all of that, who are fortunate enough to have the usual insulin response, and our pancreas is making the insulin, then our pancreas is doing that. But a lot of people need the insulin pump, and so that's a real big advance in technology that those two devices can speak to each other. Wow, that is terrific. Um, I've yeah. seen the pumps or at least heard about them, uh, but it's great to know the, the um, what do you call it, the variety of uses? Yes. Yeah, the glucose monitor is so interesting. So this little patch is a filament. It's not a wire, it is a little filament and it goes into the, the tissue. It's not actually dipping all the way into the blood, but it's measuring the blood sugar level in the fluid between the cells, which is a very close approximation to the blood sugar level 
that's in the bloodstream. That's terrific. Yeah, it's really neat. It's a very neat technology. I wore one last year over the holidays. I'm planning to again. I like to use it from time to time, as many people do, to research. And my patients, I use this a lot with my patients. If anything's happening that they're either working on weight loss and not having good results, or we see little non-ideal numbers related to the blood sugar, we use this as a tool to make sure that they don't develop diabetes. If they're near pre-diabetes, I will often recommend the glucose monitor. There's one more piece to the technology. And so that we're talking about the sensor, then there's also the reader. So the patch has the sensor. It also has the transmitter. And the transmitter talks to a device that reads the numbers or you can see the results, see what your blood sugar is at. The readers are largely being replaced now by apps. Mm. So there are each technology, each patch has its corresponding app. Wow. And the app, every few minutes, it sends the numbers to the app. And so you can see the graph. And you can share a link to the information with your doctor. That's terrific. It's really, really great. I really like it. I personally discovered that my body has a sharper insulin, sugar, and insulin response to potatoes than it does to cookies. <laughs> That's pretty detailed. It has detailed. dramatically improved and reduced my French fry stealing from other people at the table. <laughs> Isn't this amazing technology, the way things develop and uh, and and there, it makes everything so convenient? Yeah, but it's fantastic. A couple of cautions for people who ask their doctor for it. Uh, first of all, it's very rare. I have not seen it yet is a patch with a little bit of an adhesive. So some people may have an irritation or an issue with that. So that's a possible problem. Luckily, it's pretty rare. Uh, the other thing that can happen is the reading doesn't seem right. You want to be able to check a finger stick, right? If it says it's extremely high or extremely low and you feel completely fine, then if possible, check it against a finger stick, which is actually going to check in the blood. That's going to be more accurate. So it's not perfect, but they're working on it. Uh, but it's very, very helpful already. And it's a technology that I use a lot with my patients. And I like to use it myself from time to time as well to keep me my blood sugar in check. Well, I'm so impressed that this technology is now used for preventative purposes. I think that's terrific. By, by the way, just as a, uh, as a uh, I don't know the you might not know the answer to this. Is this just something that's generally covered by Medicare or significantly covered by Medicare or are people on their own with this? You know, it's getting good coverage once the blood sugar numbers are bad. Ah, it's like getting good else. coverage. Yes, unfortunately, this is a, a phase of medicine that I hope that we're transitioning out of, but you know, we're still in a phase of medicine where we respond to the disease once it's here. Mm. And where we're moving into is the next phase of medicine where we learn how to actually prevent illnesses. And I think that this technology is a tool to do that. So as far as the insurance coverage, I'm having a little more trouble with getting patients prescriptions covered uh, on the different uh, insurances. Uh, if it's an HMO, it's usually only covered if patients already diabetic, but PPO insurance, Medicare, again, I, as the doctor and my staff, make a little bit of an argument. Yeah. We could try to write uh, extra notes with the blood sugar levels. However, uh, unfortunately, a lot of times they don't approve it unless the blood sugar is already uh, significantly abnormal. We're working on that. Okay, so we'll have a we'll have a future uh, interview on uh, on preventative medicine as opposed to uh, reactive medicine. Uh, I know that we've already touched on it in the past, but maybe uh, uh, in the upcoming year, 
uh, we'll find a place to discuss the state okay. of the art of, of, of medical coverage. I love it. That'll be awesome. Thank you, Dr. Liz. This has been fabulous. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.